Hey guys, it's Chris at Haywood Homestead. Thank you for tuning in today. It has been quite a while since I have posted a video. I just wanted to do a video showing you what our um, yard looks like. This is September 16th, so we're getting uh, very close now to fall. Um, we're down in South Georgia, for those of you who don't know, we um, have had a really hot summer. We've had temperatures in the upper 90s and 100s. And, um, but as of lately, we've had cool mornings and uh, really good weather uh, besides some rain, but we need that at the end of the season anyway. It's supposed to, the grass uh, benefits from rain even when the heat's gone so that it grows good um, next spring. Anyway, um, not to ramble on, I just wanted to come on here and show you what um, our yard looks like. This is looking down from our front porch. This is a um, concrete pad we had put up and <clears throat> we had some rocks we didn't know what to do with. So our concrete guy, we asked him, could he put those rocks into the concrete? And he did. Um, it does need to be pressure washed in a couple of places, as you can see that rock right there. Um, I'll get to that hopefully soon. Uh, right here is something I added this summer. This is a, I expect this to be dying down pretty soon with the change of seasons. This is a, um, a pink knockout rose. This was very small. It was probably about this big when I bought it. I mean, it, it looked very, very small in this, this little garden here. Uh, but it did a lot of growing this summer and it's done really well. And then the plant here, this really big dark pink plant, as well as the one over on this corner, um, I believe that's called Finca. That is a perennial that's supposed to come back each season. This really took off right here too. It was a super tiny plant and it has really uh, competed with the rose bush here. This one over here didn't get quite as big still pretty and then this right here is a a butterfly bush um, it hasn't done so well I don't know if it was fighting for nutrients in the soil or if it didn't get quite enough uh, sunlight with being blocked by the bigger plants I may have to move that I apologize if you hear some airplanes going over me we live uh, very close to an airport uh, this is a gardenia bush here it has bloomed uh twice this year once in early summer it might have even been late spring then i've got one over here too and then it put off a couple more blossoms uh, a couple weeks ago and that was all it did both of them put off a couple each and then it, it was done uh, over here in front of my front porch <clears throat> this is a uh, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. It's called a Laura Palatum. It has, hopefully the lighting, you can see it okay here. It's supposed to get pretty tall. Uh, I will have to shape it up. I'm just letting it get a good start first. Um, and then in the middle here, I have what's called a burning bush. It's a slow grower, but it's doing okay so far. The leaves on this are supposed to turn a reddish color in the fall. I'm not sure if that happens when they're young or if it has to mature a little more for that to happen, but we'll see probably in a few weeks. And then another Laura Palatum. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, if I am, you'll have to tell me how to say that. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I got a little bit of pine straw right there. My plan is to um, put pine straw all down the front here to cover the three shrubs. And then eventually where my porch is, I wanna put lattice to cover, uh, to cover the empty spots there so you can't see underneath the porch. <clears throat> Coming over here, I've got, I did have a bale of pine straw and I put down um, what I could this week, weekend, over some, um, here's Mishka. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. 
That's our German Shepherd. She's just over a year old. She's wondering what I'm doing out here, talking to myself. Anyway, <laughs> this plant right here is a ca Camilla, or am I saying that right? A Camilla bush, Camilla tree. Um, I'm, that don't sound right, I don't know. Uh, anyway, it's doing really well. It's These grow pretty tall. So this is on the side of the porch here, so I expect it to go pretty far, far up on the side and that um, it will bloom um, when the weather's cooler. So this should stay green year round. It shouldn't leave its, lose its leaves. And so that's there. I have a water hose here um, that runs from the side of our house to, and I have it going underneath the porch um, so that I can water the garden on the other side of the porch I'll show you. Um, out here I have some, um, <clears throat> this is called a, uh, my mind is going blank, y'all. This is called a, um, it's a type of, um, canna, canna lily. Yeah, this is a canna lily. I'm sorry about that. Um, I planted these this year as well. Actually, I planted, um, I divided it already, so I have another one that's further out in the yard, right out there in the very back. Over here, this is um, a hibiscus plant. I didn't know if this was gonna do too, too well at first. It required a ton of water. Um, the sun was really getting to it at first, but it came around. I watered it really, really good at first each and every day. And it has really filled, filled out and um, it will die back for the winter. I don't know how late it will keep blooming, but as you can see, it still has blooms that come up on it. Um, but I really like this, it's, it's very pretty. And then beyond that is our, our pasture. Eventually we want to have a shed there and um, uh, raise chickens and uh, some of that, but we are um, not at that point yet. Going out here, this is a tree. Now we planted this tree here last summer. So this is going on a little over a year it's been here. This is a pineapple pear tree. Um, it has produced fruit. Uh, the fruit hasn't been that good. I don't know if it's because of the age of the tree, but it's got um, well, I thought it did. I think it has, yeah, it's got a pear on it right now, right there. Um, anyway, it's a, it's a, it's doing pretty good. Um, it will lose its leaves in the fall. So in a couple weeks, it'll lose its leaves. Um, but it's doing good. It is a self-pollinating tree. So I only needed one, uh, for it to produce fruit. And I know very, very little about fruit trees. Um, but I'm hoping as it matures, the fruit is sweeter and tastes better. We'll have to see. It's got fresh pine, pine straw down at the bottom. Um, out there again is another can of lily. It's done really well there. This little mess right here is our well. Uh, we are working on getting um, a cover for that, uh, either cover or we're going to build a house over it. So hopefully we'll get to that before freezing temps come in in the winter time. I'm um, coming out to the middle here. We have a snowball tree or a snowball bush. I've heard it said both ways. This is the second time it's bloomed this year. It bloomed in the springtime and now here at the end of summer. Uh, it likes a lot of water. We get a lot of... Okay, I'm sorry. That one was flying really low. I knew you wouldn't be able to hear me. Uh, this is um, pretty slow growing. Uh, I like it though, it's, but again, it does like a lot of water and our yard gets a ton of sunshine. Uh, we have no shade, so that's why we have some of these trees here so that 
uh, over time will maybe have a little bit more shade. Uh, coming over here is the newest tree I planted. Um, by the way, the snowball tree was also from last summer. So, but over here, this one I put in this summer. This is called a, um, this is a type of oak tree. It's supposed to, um, the leaves are supposed to turn a yellowish, maybe red color in the fall time. Um, but it's called a nuttall oak. I'm not so sure if I'm saying that right, but it's doing good so far. It's got uh, pine straw at the bottom too. I tell you, the planes today are crazy. We normally don't have this many fly over us. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this. This is a fast growing tree. If you uh, need a tree that you need to grow kind of quickly and you can't afford to, to buy a full grown one, which is possible, I didn't know, but uh, unfortunately I didn't have the means to do that. So I thought I'd start my own, but it was a little bit smaller than this when I bought it. We bought it from a local nursery. And then coming out here, I have one tree out here at the end of our um, front yard, past our driveway here. This tree here, I really like. Um, I wish it stayed green all year. It will lose all of its leaves though. Uh, we planted this last summer. This is called a tulip poplar tree. It's got these really big leaves on it. They're really pretty. But it's growing super well here. It likes it uh, in, in the spot. So I'm hoping um, it will continue to do good. And as you can see, it's already leaves are turning and dying. So. All right, let's go up to the front and I'll show you the garden up there. Okay, so on the other side of our front porch, we were on the opposite side earlier. Um, I have the same setup as far as shrubs go over here. I have the two uh, lower palladium shrubs and then a burning bush in the middle. And then I have these two flowering plants that are hanging on this um, farm style, um, I get shepherd's hook um, set up, some wind chimes. This is a, I can't think of the name of this. I think it's called, um, I'll think of it after the video because my mind's not working right now. Uh, this is the perennial though. This over here is not, but they're doing, they're doing pretty good. This one is kind of um, thinning out a little bit as the summer comes to an end. Well, both of them are really, but they've done really good this summer, but I have had to water a lot this summer. It has been such a hot summer here in uh, my part of Georgia. Well, I know it's been hot pretty much everywhere. Um, got a couple little fall flags that we put out. Um, this really big shrub here and the one over there is a, um, this is a knockout rose. These are knockout rose bushes. These are, um, the one over there is more pinkish. These are more red. These are huge. I do plan to cut these back in late winter, early spring, because they have just, they've exploded and I, they're just, they're, the shape to me is not very pretty right now. I'm glad to see them doing good, but I want to get them to a uh, pretty shape, but I'm not gonna mess with them right now. They're still blooming. I'm gonna wait till they've gone dormant. And then down here, I have a little pond this is actually a um, watering trough that you might use for uh, farm animals. All I did was bury it into the ground, added some rocks around it. And then I also added some uh, plants. I think these are perennials. I don't like to buy annuals because I, I just hate, annuals are pretty to me, but I don't like to put the time and effort into them when I know they're not going to come back another season. Um, I can't remember the name of these. These have, these have bloomed a little bit. Let me see if I can find one. I've got one there in the corner, one here in the middle. Okay, here's one with some blooms. 
I'll put the name on the screen because my mind is going blank. I can't remember what these are called. Dianthus, maybe? Okay, here's the other one. And then I have this, um, I think it's called a phylox. It's like a ground cover uh, plant. It hasn't bloomed at all. It's supposed to bloom as well, but it hasn't. I have a, um, a neat little trick I didn't know. Uh, I showed you my hibiscus plant over by the fence. Um, one of the branches came off and I didn't know if it would root on its own. So all I did was put it in some dirt and it started growing. So I was happy to see that. So I've got one going here. Um, this is a daylily, uh, a daylily bush. There's two there. This is all out of, um, a lot of this needs to be pruned and uh, manicured because it's not looking too good right now. This is a daylily too back here that's getting overtaken by this rose bush. And then back here in the middle, I have a planter with some herbs in it. And that's just a hot mess right now. I can't even tell you what you're looking at. Um, I, there is basil in there, but I'm not good at identifying herbs, but I did have three or four different types in there. Oh great, another plane. <laughs> Um, here's my other fall flag. And then this over here is a, a shrub. It's got, um, it blooms these little white flowers on it in the springtime. And then it's just green the rest of the time. So this also needs pruning. Once all this gets manicured and looking better, I'll have to show you guys again. Um, those are fake lily pads in there. I've got a little pump, as you can see. I don't have any fish in there. Uh, it was too hot of a summer. If I ever get some shade over in this area, um, I might can put fish in here, but right now the water gets too hot. Oh no, it looks like a dead dragonfly. Let's see if I can get him out. Well. Huh. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Well, that's a shame. I love dragonflies. We have had so many bees and wasps this year. And those dragonflies are like the hawks of insects. They'll go after them and eat them and kill them. And so I have really appreciated having those. Um, but anyway, I've got some solar lights around here. Some of them are turning on already. It is late in the evening. And got a couple solar lights by my steps right here. And I believe that's all. Um, it's been a long summer, long hot summer. We are ready for a new season now, ready for some cool weather. But anyway, I'm going to end the video now. Don't want it to be too long. This is just an update on what our yard's looking like and to say hi, hi to all of you guys. Um, I really miss all of you. I'm trying to work it into my schedule to do some more updates for you all to show you how life's going for us and what we've been up to. But anyway, y'all take care and I'll see y'all soon. Bye guys.